Well, gentlemen from the Port Arthur Ministers Conference join us to tell about tell us about a program that you guys have going on. And of course, Pastor Jack Chapman and Pastor Leonard Frazier both join us to tell us all about Project Life Changers. Yes, what exactly is that? Project Life Changes is a grassroots organization that falls under the auspices of the Port Arthur Ministers Conference. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we've done is made a, a, vow, a vow and a pact to go out and change Port Arthur, not only our members, but we want to be able to impact the entire community. Okay, and how are you guys going to be able to do that? Well, uh, under the leadership of Dr. Anderson and, and uh, uh, the Port Arthur Ministers Conference, our plan is to go in and teach them life-changing skills. Uh, by enhancing their awareness of surroundings and teaching them uh, from the transitioning from teenagehood into adulthood and adolescence. Okay, and so are you guys going to start going out? Are you asking people to join in and in help, helping you to do this? Well, What's your mission right now? Um, initially, how it all started is uh, Judge Gillum, through the mm -hmm. Precinct 8 uh, Justice of the Peace, he looked at our cur our curriculum and our program, and he agreed to us uh, begin to refer in a lot of those at-risk children to us, mm -hmm. so that we may be able to uh, impact their lives. And mm -hmm. uh, Judge Gillum has been so gracious. We actually teach, and our class is now up to about thirty children. Okay. Now, in order for you know, are you asking people to get involved? Like, what's your mission for coming on here and telling people about the program? We're seeking uh, to let the community be aware of this program mm -hmm. and the options that, that they're having through uh, Judge Gillum's court. Mm -hmm. um, the classes are, are on Mondays. Mm -hmm. uh, it helps not only with the kids, but the parents' involvement uh, through the courts. They come to class as well. So, And we ha also have a mentoring side where uh, we're seeking mentors from various uh, professions and, and, and that would have time to uh, mentor these kids uh, uh, in the various areas of life and transitioning from uh, teenagehood to uh, adulthood. Okay, so basically what you're saying is, hey, we just want to get this information out. If you have a child in need, contact us. Now, how would people be able to get in touch with you? They could reach me, uh, Pastor Jack Chapman, area code 409-540-3300. Mm -hmm. And I'll uh, be area code 409-365-5502. Talk about, do you have a success story to tell us about? Yes, we do. We have oh, so many. Amen. Our children, we, we actually have graduations for them, graduation mm -hmm. ceremonies. We believe in what we label a SEE, -E, a significant emotional event. Mm -hmm. So we try to make the graduation so huge to where they never forget it. I ask them to take those certificates and actually put them on the wall so they can always remember it. Mm -hmm. uh, the children have to write a two-page essay for graduation purposes. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you've had a chance to frequent the West Side Development Center where we hold our classes. Mm -hmm. uh, y uh, do you remember all the uh, historical patriarchs and matriarchs that's actually mm -hmm. on, the, on the wall? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So though we ask them to write a two-page essay about the, some of those people if they know them personally, but if they don't know them personally, we ask them to write about the class itself. What did they get out of the class? Mm -hmm. And each time we've had grown men, pastors, mm -hmm. and I don't know if you know the man way of trying not to cry. Mm -hmm. we, we look up so the tears won't roll out. And it's, a, it's an entire church or wherever we have the ceremony at. All of the people in there, there's tears coming to the eyes because the kids are confessing that this program has actually changed their life. And, and before last but definitely not least, I want to give our success rate. Uh -huh. We have an 88.7% success rate thus far. Well, congratulations. And We've run out of time now. Oh, so. i got so much more to <laughs> oh. say. All right. We have to have you guys back. Thank yes, you guys so much for yes, joining us. Of course, this is the end of News at Noon. We'll see you back here tomorrow.